welcome to the 12 Pores of Christmas collaboration. I am Kristen. And I'm Kate. And we are Kay. And Kay. Create. Yay. Thank you for joining us. Uh, first and foremost, we want to thank Lee and Jeremy Massey for inviting us to join in on this collaboration. We are doing day number six, which is six geese laying. Days one through five have already happened. Um, if you have not yet seen those videos, please go back and watch. I will have all of the links in my description box. Um, five amazing artists and some amazing art were made. So don't miss out, go back and watch those. And then the collaboration will continue tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with Gabe from Bears Den Acrylic Art. So be sure to stop back by then. So as you can see, we are in our festive gear. Yeah. We have our uh, Star Wars ornament t-shirts on and our Santa hats and Kayla has her reindeer. So we're feeling festive and we are ready to get going with our six yeah. geese a laying. We used a lot of different paint colors. Um, I'm gonna show you pictures of all the paint that we used. Um, and then we have a lot of footage that we squeezed in. So it's going to be uh, some sped up areas and some music and some voiceovers. So please sit back and enjoy. And we hope you um, enjoy our video. And we'll see you down at the table. Yeah. Okay. See you in a bit. See ya. Okay, everyone, okay. we are ready to begin. Yep. Okay, so we have our six geese. A and they'll, laying. And they'll be a laying on this cake spinner. Uh-huh. And then they'll be a spinning. So we have our geese cut out. Isn't it cute? Um, I ordered these. Um, Oh gosh, what was the website called? 24 Hour Crafts or something like that? Yeah. I'll put the link. 24 Hour Wood Crafts, I think. Something like that. But they have yeah. thousands of shapes and they cut oh. them out as you order them. Um, I've taped the back and I uh, showed you how I taped them. Or I will show you. I'm not sure where I'm gonna where I'm gonna insert that um, video. So they're all taped up and this was um, how they came natural and I did spray them with this primer. So we're going to do a different technique with a different color palette. Yes. Time six. Yeah. So today we're using Golden's Green Gold. Uh-huh. Deco Water Americana Decor Metallics 24 Karat Gold. Pearl Deep Brown. From Arteza. Yes. Uh, golden Cobalt cobalt Turquoise. Mm -hmm. And Turquoise Phthalo. From Golden Nose. And we'll be doing today, what kind of pour? A flip cup. Flip cup. So or more like flip cups. Flip cups, right. So this is a very odd shape. So we thought about it and Kayla helped me. Yeah. Um, that we could do three <laughs> little flip cups. Mm hmm. One about there. About there, from the other one in the middle. And as we drag them, we will drag them to cover the odd areas of the goose. We'll layer the three little cups. These I mixed up yesterday. I'm just gonna give them a gentle stir. All right. So let's layer our little cups first, let's get them out. Okay, so do I get to them? decide? Yeah, you can decide. Yay! So first I want the... The... The voice table.
So these are the colors that we layered. Mm -hmm. I helped pick out the colors and now we're gonna flip cup it, right? Yeah. Yay. Okay. Flip it right there. Oh, you want to right do there. it like this? I flip it. Ooh, yeah. 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 Okay, so we gotta get it in the middle. You gonna turn it over, or you want me to do it? You want me to do it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Flip it. <laughs> tell me what to. No, 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 do not it. yet. Just tell me what to do. It. We're not flipping. Asking. We're not flipping. We're not lipping them yet. We have to flip them all first. All right, where do you mm. want this one to go? Mm. The head. Yeah. Mm. Well, these are easy because they're not full. You want to do this one? Uh, sure. Oops, this one's working. Where? Right here? Yep. Ready? Alright, you gotta get it right so it doesn't leak. Okay. Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's alright. Yeah. Okay. So now it's going from dark colors now. Yeah, we're gonna let them drip down for a minute. Yes. Alright, you ready to flip them? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is my All first right. time doing a flip cup. Which like, way do you wanna go first? I'm gonna flip this. This one. is easier. Ready? You're gonna drag it towards the tail, right? Yeah. Um, Ready? Yep, go ahead. It's okay. Okay. You're fine because you're spinning it. Right, it'll get spun. Alright, so I'll drag this one. Yeah, because it's a little harder. Oof. Yeah, that does not work like. A normal flip cup works. So we may have to improvise here. All right. Ugh. So let's, yeah, go ahead and lift that one. It just kind of stays right there in the middle. Yeah. All right. It didn't drag. I know. It's, That's kind of sad. Yeah. So what we may have to do then is kind of like how some people do with balloons, do like a transfer. Ooh, transfer. Kind of pick up some of this. Ooh, okay. And transfer it to that area. Hopefully it'll work out. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, it's working. Are you ready to go spin it? Yeah. Alright, we'll meet you at the puppy pool. Okay, ready to spin this baby. Alright, give it a spin. Too much. No, not too much. You gotta cover the whole goose, remember. Wow. What? That was a big one. I'm an aggressive spinner. Ooh. You're an aggressive spinner, so I'm an aggressive spinner. Yep. Because I'm your daughter. That's it looks cool. so good. Oh, yeah. Alright, are we good? Alright, let's, let's get it off there. There might end up being some. What? What? Yeah. I'll move out of the way. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Goose number one down. Yes. That was much Where easier than I expected. Okay, so we're ready for goose number two. Yeah. So goose number two, we're not going to spin. We're going to tilt it. We're going to tilt it. So what I did was I taped the popsicle stick onto the back. So we would have something to hold can on to. It? Can I tilt it? Yeah, you can. You can yeah. tilt it. We have deco art, American corn tabs, silver. Mm -hmm. We also have Earthsoft metallic blue. Mm -hmm. Everyone's favorite. Oh, not oh. metallic cold bulk blue. It's just metallic oh. blue. Yeah. Windsor blue. You can't really see that. But Manganese blue hue. Golden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And finally, our soft Mars black. Yes. So blues, silver, yes. and a black. We have a new rig. Yes. Thanks to Janice Pittman for suggesting we get a microphone stand. Yeah. And just attach a phone holder to it. Yes. So now we have an, a nice overhead. So we're ring pouring this time, right? Yes. Wandering ring pouring. So we're exactly. gonna layer a little cup. Yes. And then you're gonna just Me. Make... 
You said you wanted to pour it. Oh, you want to tilt it. All right, I I'll pour it. it. <laughs> so you 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 choose how you want it layered. Um, okay, so first, let's start off with dark blue. Very dark blue. That blue, Winds are blue? Yes, winds are blue. So I can actually just probably pour. Let's play around at the top of the, of the paper towel. Looks really cool, Kayla. Dip time. Yeah. Okay. okay. Ready for goose number three? Right. Goose number three has yeah. a purple color palette consisting yes. of that's um, deco art. Deco art and this. Next is Golda Ultramarine Violet. Ultramarine Violet. Golden dioxazine purple. Oh. I couldn't Golden fit that all on the purple. little cup, so I had to. Uh, Abbreviate. And next is Decorat Champagne Gold. Mm -hmm. I chose this because I didn't think that we were going to have like, two Decorats. That's and fine. And finally, Amsterdam Rocks. Yeah. So we're doing a, what kind of pour? Uh, we're doing a dirty cup straight pour and we're spinning it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what should we start with? We'll just probably start off with the... With a solid color, I think. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Which the oxygen. The oxygen purple. purple? Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. So you want to start in the middle and go out, or do you want to start on one end and work your way? One end and work my way. All right. But that's going to be too it. hard, though. I'm probably just going to go in the middle first. Let's start. And it's just straight up. pour, so that's yeah. easy. Start up high. Mm hmm Okay. Good. You happy? Yeah. I think happy. it looks great. Yeah. There's so much But I left. think once we spin it, it'll, it'll cover. And then I get to spin it hard again. We'll just make some skins with this, I guess, later. Yeah. All right. You ready to spin it? Yeah. All right. We'll meet you at the puppy pool. Yeah. Let's go. All right. You ready to spin it? Yeah. All right. Give it a spin. First, start off very gently. Okay. It's covering. Show everybody what it looks like. Yes. Move. 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 There we go. Here's goose number three, our purple goose. Yes. Okay, we're back with the fourth goose. Fourth goose, right. And our fourth, fourth color scheme violet oxide. I think that's a golden violet oxide. Yeah. Natal. Natal. Mm -hmm. Red. Medium. Mm -hmm. I know that's a golden. Let's see it for. Yeah. Next we have Deco Art. Rose gold. Yeah. Beautiful color. We have three Deco Arts in this one, actually. Oh. <clears throat> okay. We'll be so okay. We'll be the okay. Second Deco Art is Garnet. Yep. I didn't know that Garnet was a Deco Art. Yeah. And the final Deco Art, three Deco Arts, is Copper. Right. Yeah. And we have decided to do what kind of pour on this goose? A ribbon pour. A ribbon pour. Right. Yeah. So I have, um, we're going to tilt this one. So I've taped the stick on the back 
and I'm going to try to pour in the same line as the stick. So when Kayla tilts it, she just has to go back and forth and we'll hopefully keep our ribbon lines straight. How does that sound? Yeah, that's good. So do you want to pick the order of the layers? You choose. I choose. All right, so we're going to try to go light, dark, light, dark as much as possible. And I'm going to do thin layers. Okay, so there's our cup. Looking nice and pretty. Okay. Ready? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna leave the feet out. Or I can just cover the feet with some of this and then ribbon the rest. Okay, I've never done a ribbon pour, guys, so. First ribbon pour. I'm going to do my best. like Mars, yeah. Very dark. Looks sort of like Jupiter-ish, Mars-ish colors. And there's a lot left, but that's fine. All right, you ready to tilt? Yes. You know what, let me close up these drawers. Hold on a second. So back and forth along with the lines. Yep. So just left and right, because they're lined up with the sticks. Good. <laughs> It down for a second all right and then i'll lift it up and i'll put it to dry yeah. okay that looks really cool and show you our moose the lighting is bad yeah <laughs> can you see him he came out really nice. I'm gonna leave yeah. him to dry. Okay. Hey guys, so it's Kristen. I'm running solo, working on goose number five. It was late at night, Kayla was asleep, um, but we needed to get it done. So I'm gonna um, use this Sherwin-Williams in Tricorn Black as my pillow. And I have some TLPs here. This is Techno. I'm gonna be doing a swipe with all TLPs. This one is Submarine. Next up, we have the Lemon Sorbet. And this is Zeus. Zeus is gorgeous. It's so shimmery and shiny. And then this last one is Parakeet. It's my first time using it, but it's such a pretty color. So obviously, this is our yellow color palette. Uh, this is my Fluid Art Co. palette knife number one. My CA is Amsterdam Lamp Black with Australian Floetrol. I'm gonna go ahead here and just lay down my pillow. All right, so I'm gonna load up my palette knife with the CA first and then layer on all of my colors. And uh, this is the way I prefer to swipe rather than putting the colors directly onto whatever I'm swiping on. I like to put the colors on the palette knife and swipe. It's just easier for me. So there's the first swipe, covered up most of the goose with that one, looking pretty good so far, like in those cells. Um, some areas um, didn't really get covered with paint, so I'm just taking a smaller palette knife and trying to get some more cells that didn't really work so well, so we'll just tilt it there and cover that up. <laughs> um, and then I'll go ahead and I will I'll do one, one more little touch up and then I'll take it over to the spinner box.
Okay, so okay. we are on goose number six. Yay, yes. final goose. So we're gonna be doing a bloom on this goose. Mm -hmm. And our color palette is pinks and golds. So you wanna yep. introduce the pickies? We have six pickies we're using. Sure. Just go. Okay. First, we have DLP Sangria. Yeah. Next is DLP Ore. Yes. The now I can't point gold. it like this anymore. Now I have to put it straight up. Yes, yeah, straight up. Mm hmm. Oops. Next. I just touched my mic. Next, we have Twilight. Twilight. I don't really have to say these things because they're just going to speed it up, anyways, but. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Next is. Afterglow. Afterglow, yeah. Very pretty. Very pretty pink. Next we have TLP Brulee. Brulee, that's an interference copper. Yes. And finally, Jeremy, this is your time to shine. Show pony. Show pony. Jeremy's color. Yay. It's your time to shine, Jeremy. All right, and we'll be using a, a pillow of black, Triclone Black from Sherwin-Williams. And we're gonna use two cell activators today. One, um, lamp black, and then I mixed up a little of the Amsterdam bronze with our Australian full troll. We're gonna mm -hmm. give that a try for the first time today. All right, so I'm gonna put down the pillow. All right, so I think we'll probably do multiple blooms. We'll just see how it goes, or maybe we'll do a bloom vine or something? I don't know. Ooh. What do you think? A bloom vine. A bloom. We'll just go cool. with the flow. We may have to do multiple. So let me put a little bit more down the middle here so that we can have a nice pillow to blow on. All right. So you want to do the colors like that? And we'll try yeah. to uh, bloom vine it. Yeah. Right, Wait, so I'm laying down the colors. You want me to do the first one just so you have yeah. an idea? Okay. So this is the sangria first. Let's kind of do like that. Ooh, okay. Okay. Oh, why did you have to do the sangria? The sangria is my new favorite TLP color. Does it look good? good? I think so. All right. Most of the gold just went off this edge because I didn't realize that I was going off the edge. Oh, well, it's a very skinny neck. Okay, so now you have to get down. And you go up. And then I will do the blow up. Yes. Okay. And then we'll spin it. Spin it out and see what happens. Okay, you ready to spin it? Yeah. All right, give it a spin. You can do it harder than that. Harder than that. Two 
Okay, now that is rough. That's an aggressive spin. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What do you think? You think that's good? Yeah, it looks pretty. Yeah, you like it? And here are our six finished geese all lined up in a row looking so pretty like they're ready to take a walk outside in the nice sunshine. Okay, so there you have it. Mm -hmm. We hope you enjoyed watching us make our six geese. Please tune back in tomorrow evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Bear's Den Acrylic Art and his take on the seventh day of Christmas. Which is? Which is Seven Swans a Swimming. Right, Seven Swans a Swimming. Uh, if you haven't seen the first five days with the um, five artists that came before us, please go back and watch. All of the links to the videos are in our description box. Thanks again, and everybody have a great night. Thank you. Bye-bye.